Oh, okay. So doctor says, um, can you talk about the shape of the kumo? When it's thin or thick, okay, please. So that's one of the examples. So again, let me do bar play. So let's say you found the market like this. This was what happening on yesterday's special long live stream. And we found this example on other euro pairs. But as one of the examples, this, if you found this, you may think that's bullish because it broke that Kumo. It broke the Kumo and the Chikou span broke the Kumo and the candles. And also the market broke that resistances. Multiple resistances was a breakout. So you may think that the market goes up this way, but um, you see the Kumo is too thin like uh, too, too flat, like a needle like this. So in this case, the market usually retraces. I mean, it may go up continuously for the next couple of hours or next couple of days, it may go up. But um, the thing is that the market can retrace back anytime. The retracement may, may happen right after enter trade or it may happen anytime, so you better stay away from this kind of market and check other markets and uh, look for opportunities on other stably trending markets. But uh, in terms of the downtrend or uptrend, let's see. So here too, the Kumo shape became very thin. Let me see. Okay, let me take this one. So Kumo shape became very thin, like this in a 4 hour, so in this case also the market can retrace back this way. So this is not a good timing to take by. Uh, so stable trend will look like this. You see Kumo is very thick and long. So uh, of course, whenever, even if you see the Kumo thickness like this, the market retraces back anytime, but uh, it becomes more stably bullish. So this is when I uh, look for opportunities, either 4 hour or daily. If I see this kind of Kumo, then um, I, I look for an opportunity. But uh, not like in this case. And when the when the market's range, I mean, when the market's flat like this, you can't trust Kumo. Uh, when the market's flat, the market actually goes through the Kumo up and down. So Kumo cannot be the resistance or the support. Kumo can be the support only after you see the, you see the um, stable trend and the retrace. Then the market can be supported by the Kumo and bounce and goes up, but not in the ranging market. In the ranging market, usually you see the Kumo thin the whole time. Some parts um, the Kumo was thick like here or here, but uh, as compared to the stable trending market, these Kumo are relatively thinner and the market just goes through up and down through the Kumo. So Kumo becomes the mid price when it's ranging. Kumo and Kijun Sen becomes the mid price when it's ranging. Uh, and uh, when it's uptrending like this, it becomes stable up, stable trend. And after the after the you know big major trend with the thickness of the Kumo, then the Kumo single span A or B works as a support. I mean, it's not always 100%, but it tends to work like this as a support uh, to, uh, uh, as a support of the market. This is single span A, and this is single span B. The market bounces and goes up in the short term, but not in the ranging market. So that's the Kumo strategy.